So I'm just going to zoom in <coughs> to these lovely clouds over here where the sun's setting. There they are. Isn't that lovely? It looks more orange in this lens than it does in real life because they're quite red. And just, uh, let's see if I can get it in. Somewhere up here is the moon. I might have to zoom out. Oh, there it is. Isn't that lovely as well? <coughs> and here we have a little chap who is looking at this. <laughs> Go on then, then. Bless him. Good boy. Good boy. Showing off now. All right, he's going to chew that for a little while. So anyway, that's really the reason why I switched on because I just thought, what a beautiful, clear, chemical-free sky with a nice half moon going on. Gosh, it only feels like two seconds since it was the last full moon. I can't believe how quickly time goes by. In fact, that looks slightly bigger than a half there. Hmm. Lovely jubbly. What are we going to do then, Ben? Can we check this again for you? Good boy. It's not very heavy. I don't think we'll be able to get it very far. Oh no! <laughs> it got stuck in a tree. Oh dear. We've got another one somewhere around here. I wonder where it is. Here it is. We'll use this one instead. Sorry, Ben. Let go. But I don't want to let go. Come on then. <laughs> I wonder why the light looks like it does on the left corner. I'm just looking to see. I don't know if you can see. Top left, it looks like there's really bright sunlight going in here, Ben. Good boy. He's all hyper hyper because we're a little bit late out for our evening walk. So he was all hyper hyper, aren't you? They were like, come on Nina, let's go. Nina didn't want to go, Nina didn't want to go anywhere today. No energy. I feel better though now we're actually up here. And a certain little chap's definitely much happier. Well, he's up. Okay, I'm going to get up too. Yeah, oh, look at that tongue. Ben, are you doing a Miley Cyrus? Somebody's expended too much energy too quickly with all this stick throwing, haven't you? We'll have to go find... Oh, <laughs> that was the most ridiculous throw in the world. It went so high up. That was definitely the definition of a typical girly fro. Don't normally do those. Oh, Ben, you look exhausted. You know, I came up here the other night. It was, um... Actually, I won't chuck it. I don't want to tire him. <laughs> don't want to make him any more thirsty. Yeah, I came up here on Thursday night, and, um... It was just a little bit too late, really. Um, I don't mind walking up here at dusk, but it was actually pitch black by the time we got through the trees getting up here it wasn't even like light here still um the time now it's 10 to 10 now it would have been about half past 10 and it was so scary oh my god i didn't actually end up coming up to this part because it was so dark just down here um even though if we'd made it up here 
it would have been a little bit lighter but just to the right of there there's like the rocks and some rocks and stuff and I just could not get through <laughs> how thick the air felt there so instead what I did was I didn't really have many options to get out because it was all pitch black down here because I was below all the trees and I had a choice of going the way I'd come which is like left that way uh, or I had another choice of going right and then there's a left turn which brings you out like in the middle of where the houses are so that's the one which we did except it was truly terrifying it really was absolutely terrifying um I, th I probably need a torch if I'm going to do anything silly like that again. But oh, it was just awful. <laughs> I can't, I, you know, I'm pretty good usually. All I was praying. <laughs> like, the whole time I was just chatting to Jesus. But it wasn't nice. <laughs> Even though in reality it was only like a ten minute walk to get... Well, to, to start dropping back down was only a ten minute walk. And then... And then, like, we had to go through this horrible drop to get down of this, like, narrow, walled area with, like, rocks and boulders everywhere. It's not a nice path. People don't really use it very often. But anyway, we made it, and we got out. And the good thing about going that way was uh, that we still had, like, an area to walk back along the roads and stuff, which were lit. Um... And because a certain chap's really good, he didn't have to have his lead on. But yeah, it was scary. Anyway, I'm going to switch this off and we're going to continue walking. I'm not going to film everywhere because I've filmed up here a million, a billion times already, it seems. And the second that we start to walk, it's going to get quite dark down there. So I'm going to switch off. And play with this little chap as soon as he's had to wait so late for his walk I didn't realise it was as late as it is actually no wonder he was all hyper hyper okie dokie then goodbye from me and goodbye from Ben Ben good boy see? oh he's, he's, he's kind of saying, trying to say bye he just had a mouthful of wood <laughs> cheerio